All right, guys, Lego here with Dyna Demos, bringing you episode two of the FXR series. So in today's video, uh, what we're gonna be doing is one, getting my bike registered, and then two, uh, going and doing a full walk around before I get anything done to my bike at all. Uh, the only thing that I have done up until this point was rebuild the carb, and that was just to get it running. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Here it is, the 87 FXRS SP. Do a quick walk around so you guys can see it. So a couple things about these bikes. Uh, dual disc front end came stock on it. 39 millimeter front end. That was stock. Uh, gauges came up on the handlebars. Uh, these handlebars are not stock, obviously. There's a built well. Uh, I'm gonna replace those. Uh, grips definitely need new grips on this thing uh, already got the thrashing bar bag came with a centerfield dash pretty dope uh, this SNS uh, this SNS carburetor and intake is a uh, aftermarket uh, it's got a blonde motor uh, that's what they call that color so it's still got the stock pipes on it plan on getting a different one uh, side covers plan on getting chrome ones these ones are aftermarket I don't really like them uh, La Paris seat. I already got a new one on the way. Let's see if you guys can guess what uh, seat I got on the way. Uh, these shocks are aftermarket, which I plan on getting new ones. I don't really want these. I don't even know what brand they are. Uh, Racing Bros. Uh, actually, those are pretty good. I'll probably sell those things then. Um, and yeah, I want better brakes, some PM brakes. Uh, these are just the stock ones. They're not that good, but they do the job. The uh, dual disc in the front really helps out. Um, license plate with the turn signals. I plan on doing integrated in the rear. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. And yeah, this is her. Got a lot of stuff planned for it. This will be the uh, before walk around. And then when it's finally done, I'll do an after walk around, which probably will be years down the road because I just plan on spending stupid amounts of money. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys got an FXR, let me know in the comments what you guys got. And uh, if you got us on Instagram, send us in pics. All right. And if you guys liked the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I know I said that that was going to be the end of the video, but I just wanted to uh, show you guys what's to come if you stay tuned for the entire video. Uh, so I already got some thrashing pegs that I plan to throw on the FXR. Also, you guys may know what this is just from looking at this side. Five speed cover. Uh, I got this from a dude on, uh, I think he's got Instagram and Facebook. I can't remember which one, but he makes uh, covers and he can customize them to however you want. Uh, I wanted an original five speed one, but people were just price gouging so much that I, did, I would rather give my money to a guy that makes them custom than uh, dudes that just price gouge. Like the OEM ones don't mean that much to me, you know? Um, we're going back to these pegs. I'm pretty excited to put them on. They look freaking dope. They're actually a lot wider than I thought. I feel like the, uh, in the pictures I've seen and stuff, they just, uh, they don't look as big, but these things are pretty beefy, uh, which surprised me. And then we got some chrome covers. Uh, these ones do say HD. Uh, right there. However, not entirely sure if these are actually uh, HD, but whatever. Um, and yeah, that's uh, what I've got so far to put on the FXR. So stay tuned for episode three. I'm gonna be putting all this stuff on and maybe some more if uh, my seat gets here.